Everybody, we are super excited to see you. Welcome to our treehouse. My name is Bethany, and this is my friend Ziggy. Hello, Bethany. Hello, everyone. Today, we've got a lot done in our treehouse. We managed to wash all the dishes and we tidied up all of the toys. We did the laundry, and I've just finished dusting off the treehouse. But now, to be honest, we're just a little bit bored. Well, uh, Bethany, is there anything we can look forward to this weekend? Well, to be honest, Ziggy, I don't think there is. Maybe we could build a tower of blocks. Well, I've just put them all away nicely, actually. Oh, well, we could play outside. Ah, uh, I think it's a bit cold to go outside. I wonder who that could be. Let's go and have a look. We need to press the purple button. Hi, Bethany. It's Pete the Postman. Hi, Pete the Postman. Come on up and join us. Hey, Bethany. Hey, Ziggy. Hey, everyone. Bethany, Ziggy, what's wrong? You look a bit... You look a bit fed up. Yeah, well, me and Ziggy are just a bit... Bored. We've not got anything to look forward to this week, so we're really pleased to see you. Oh, well, thank you. Well, I've got something that might cheer you up. I've brought you a parcel today, and I don't know what's inside, but I'm going to give it to you. It's a very special parcel. Ooh. <gasps> Can't wait to see what's inside this one. <gasps> look, there's some plates and cups and balloons and party poppers. <gasps> And hats. I love these. Would you like a hat, Ziggy? I'd love one, Bethany. Thank you. Oh, oh. There you go. And Pete, would you like a hat? I'll take a hat. Thank you very much. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Bethany, it's like a party in a box. It is. Let's see whose party this is for. <gasps> Look. It's an invitation to Pete the Postman's party. Oh, wow, Pete. Thank you. I really do like having party invitations. We will definitely reply and be there. Ziggy, it's a pleasure. Woohoo! Oh, ah! This is something to look forward to. In fact, this is good news. Hi, Bethany. Hi, everyone. I can't wait to tell you today's story because this story is full of good news. In fact, it'll probably be the best story that you will ever hear, because it's true. Now, it starts out a little bit sad, but don't worry. It ends up being very, very good. So are you listening? Good. <laughs> Here we go. Today's story happened after a very sad day. It was a sad day because Jesus had died. And Mary loved Jesus. And so she went to visit the tomb that Jesus's body was put into. When she got there, something wasn't quite right. There was supposed to be a huge stone in front of the tomb to make sure that no one could get in. But when she got there, the stone was missing. But that wasn't the only thing that was missing. Mary went into the tomb to check that Jesus' body was still there. But it was gone. <gasps> oh no, said Mary. Someone's taken Jesus' body. I wonder if you've ever been so worried that you started to cry. Well, Mary was really worried and she began to cry. But as Mary cried, a man appeared behind her. Why are you crying? Who are you looking for? Mary thought it was the gardener. She sniffed and replied, Someone's taken Jesus and I don't know where they've put him. The man put his hand on her shoulder and said, Mary? Mary looked up. She knew that voice. And it wasn't the gardener's voice. It was the voice of someone she loved. Who do you think it was? That's right. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive and right there with Mary. 
It was the best news that Mary could have hoped for. Mary was so excited to see Jesus that she hugged him. Then Jesus told her to go and tell all her friends that he was alive. Mary couldn't wait to tell everybody that Jesus was alive again. And she ran to tell everyone the good news. Jesus is alive, she shouted. Jesus died, but now he's alive. And that means we can be friends with Jesus forever. Isn't that good news? I think it's the best news ever. <laughs> See you next time. <gasps> wow, that really is good news. We can be Jesus' friends forever. So, so, Bethany, so Jesus died on the cross for us and then was alive again? That's so cool! But, but what does that mean? Well, God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus to live in it. And even when we don't quite do the right thing, Jesus still died for us. It's a bit like we've got that invitation to Pete's party. We can choose whether to go or not. Wow! Wow, so Jesus is our friend forever. Wow, I want to make sure I'm always friends with Jesus. Shall we tell Jesus that we want to be his friend today? Jesus would love that. If you want to choose to be Jesus's friend too, why don't you join in with this prayer? So let's start by putting our arms out really wide. That's the shape of the cross that Jesus died on. So let's pray, Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Jesus, thank you for dying for me. Super. Now, can we put our hands on our hearts because God really loves us? And let's pray, Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. Super. Now, if we put our hands together like this, they're really close. And we can be close friends with Jesus too. So let's pray, Jesus, help me to be your friend forever. Jesus, help me to be your friend forever. And let's all say together, Amen. Amen. <laughs> that is good news. Yeah, I can't wait to tell everyone about Jesus. Like Mary in the story, she wanted to make sure everybody knew that Jesus was alive. Yeah, and I've just had an idea. Maybe when we go to Pete's party, we could tell other people there the good news that we can be Jesus' friend forever. Of course, the party. I forgot about that with all this amazing good news. <laughs> and maybe you could tell your friends too. We can be Jesus' friend forever. That is good news. Now it's time for us to say goodbye, but we will see you again soon. Goodbye. Goodbye! Bye! Goodbye.